Hello students, welcome to Well Explained. Today I am here for class 7 science, chapter number 8, soil. So student, what is soil? Soil is the uppermost layer of the earth in which plants grow and also it is a home for many insects and small animals. So students, Whatever you see on the ground, on the earth, the uppermost one is the soil and in, it is in this soil only we grow plants and also many insects and small animals such as rabbits, they live. Now what is the importance of soil? Soil is important. First of all, soil allows the growth of the plants. It provides water and nutrients that are required for the growth of plants. Students, you might have seen that we water the plants. When, whenever we water the plants, we put the water in the soil. And in the soil, what are there? Roots are the main organs. Means in the soil, the roots of the plants are there. And these roots, they absorb water and minerals which are very very essential for the growth of plants. You all are knowing that water is used for the process of photosynthesis. The soil is the main part of agriculture. Different types of crops grow in different types of soil. For example, cotton grows in black soil. We get food, shelter and clothing from agriculture. Soil also serves as home to many microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, algae. Insects also live over there. Millipedes, centipedes and small animals like earthworms, rabbits, they burrow their homes in the soil. Now how is soil formed? Now how is soil formed? Soil is formed by the breaking of rocks into smaller pieces by the action of water, wind, temperature, etc. And this process is known as weathering. This word weathering comes in the Weather se. Or the weather means weather make the elements hai, just the temperature, hai, humidity, hai, they all act and results in the breaking of the rocks into smaller pieces. So this is known as weathering. The rock from which the soil is formed is called as the parent rock. The process of soil formation takes hundreds of years. Students, as a need ke aaj rock to small pieces me a kalko soil ban gayi. No, it takes hundreds and thousands of years for few inches of soil to prepare. Now, the texture of the soil. Texture means the uh, feel of the soil, it depends on the types of rocks from which it is formed. Now, there are three main stages in soil formation. First stage, second stage and third stage. In the first stage, parent rock get broken into smaller pieces by the action of water, wind, temperature, etc., Soil is non-porous at this stage. As this is the very beginning stage, the parent rock of tooti hai, to bhi itne small pieces nahi hote hai. Tooti hai, chumata pieces mein. Jo soil hoti is time par non-porous hoti. Non-porous means no pores are present at this stage. Then what are pores? Pores are the very minute openings. Okay. Baat chote chote chedo ko pore kehte hai. So at first stage, the soil is non-porous. Now coming to the second stage. Now this weathering continues. Means the parent rock, uh, rock get broken into smaller pieces and this process continues to form smaller rock particles and the dead plants and animals which are present in the soil, they get decayed by the action of bacteria and the third stage. The minerals and salts reach deeper into the soil with water and increases the fertility of soil. In the first stage, 
तो पेरेंट रॉकीज बड़ी बड़ी चट्टाने जो थी वो छोटे पीसेस में आई सेकेंड स्टेज में वेदर इन कंटिन्यू और छोटे पीसेस बने और जो भी डेड एंड डेड प्लांट्स और एनिमल्स उस सॉइल में प्रेजेंट थे दे वर डीकम्पोज बाय द एक्शन ऑफ बैक्टीरिया एंड अदर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम एंड ह्यूमस इज फॉर्म एंड दिस एड्स टू द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सॉइल और जो थर्ड स्टेज में उसमें मिनरल्स और सॉल्ट थे दे रीच डीपर इन टू द सॉइल विद वॉटर एंड इट एड्स टू द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ सॉइल Now types of weathering. We have studied what is weathering. It is the process of breaking of rocks with the help of wind, water, temperature, etc. So based on what kind of agent is making the soil, there are three types of weathering. The first one is physical weathering. You can see the breaking down of big rocks into smaller pieces. With the help of agents like wind, water, and changes in temperature, is called physical weathering. It is also called as mechanical weathering. As you can see in this picture, that there is a big rock and water is continuously striking this rock. So over a period of thousands of years, what will happen? These rocks will break. Okay, change in temperature means. Sometimes it is hot, the rocks expand. Sometimes it is cold, the rocks contract. And this continuous expansion and contraction of the rocks, due to the change in temperature, makes the rock weaker. Means comes over, cut it up, and it ultimately breaks. Now the second type of weathering is chemical weathering. Chemical weathering changes the chemical nature of the soil. When rainwater mixes with gases like carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides in the atmosphere, it forms acid rain. When acid rain falls on the surface of the earth, it makes the soil slightly acidic. As you can see in this rock, because of the acid rain, there are the the rock gets destroyed. If they can, you can see it. ये एसिड की वजह से और धीरे धीरे जब बहुत सालों तक एसिड रेन होती रहती है तो दिस रॉक बिकम्स वीकर एंड अल्टीमेटली इट ब्रेक्स इन टू स्मॉलर पीसेस टू फॉर्म सॉइल नाउ कम्स बायोलॉजिकल वेदरिंग एज द नेम इज सजेस्टिंग बायोलॉजिकल वेदरिंग दैट मींस इट इज ड्यू टू द एक्शन ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स द रूट्स ऑफ द ट्रीज एंड बरोइंग एनिमल्स इनसाइड द सॉइल ब्रिंग्स अबाउट दिस टाइप ऑफ वेदरिंग Roots of trees and plants grow through the rocks, contributing to weathering. These जो roots होती हैं trees और plants की अगर किसी वजह से वो crack में grow कर रहे हैं तो वो जब बड़ी होती हैं तो rocks में तो वो उस crack को बड़ा करती चली जाती हैं. When the roots grow bigger, they penetrate deeper into the soil. Means soil के अंदर और rock के अंदर और deeper जाती रहती हैं, forming cracks in rocks and helps in the soil. formation as you can see see in this lichens are growing do you know what are lichens we have studied in chapter 1 symbiotic relationship uska example tha lichens it is a mutual relationship between an algae and a fungi so jab ye grow kar rahe hain so what they do they release certain acids because of this the rocks become weaker and soil is formed Now, what are the factors affecting soil formation? Number one is the climate. The climatic conditions like rainfall, harsh winds, and fluctuating temperature lead to the formation of cracks in the rocks. These cracks deepen with time. Deepen with time means, just as the time passes, it will get deeper. Those cracks, which are deep, are very gradual, and they get deeper. and eventually it causes the rocks to break down in smaller pieces second is the landscape this means the type of land where the soil is formed we know there are different types of lands means landscapes vary from place to place as we are living on plains there are certain mountains or hilly regions as well as plateaus are there so at what type of landscape the soil is formed also affects the quality of soil 
as the layer of soil in the hilly areas is thinner wahan par patli hoti why because the running water washes away the top soil very often whereas the soil found in plains is thicker because water does not washes away the soil very often here now next is the nature of the parent rock means from which rock the soil is formed soil form will have similar composition as that of the parent rock for example if the parent rock has high calcium content the soil form will also be rich in calcium now come to soil profile what is soil profile it is a vertical section of soil showing its different layers and these layers are called as horizons these layers of soil can be seen if we dig deep through it like while digging a well means kuwa khodte pe agar aap dhyan de or while laying the foundation of a building at construction sites agar aap dekhe gadda khudta hai jab foundation lagti hai neev bhari jati hai to jab khudai hoti hai digging hoti hai to you can see there these layers of the soil now the horizons of soil o horizon this is the first layer of the soil profile this layer is rich in dead and decaying plants and animals in non decomposed form means upar jo hai dead and decaying plants or animals hote hain non decomposed form means jaise wo the wo waise hi pade rehte hain after that comes the a horizon this is the second layer of soil profile and it is also called as top soil in your junior classes the previous classes you must have studied that there are three layers of soil top soil sub soil and bedrock okay so this top soil that you have studied in your previous classes is a horizon and this layer is soft porous rich in humus and dark in color due to the presence of humus this layer supports growth of plants and this layer also serves as home to many animals and insects this is the most important layer of the soil as it is fertile all the plants grows in this layer of the soil as well as this is the home to many animals and insects now coming to b horizon this layer is just below the a horizon and is known as subsoil this hard and composed layer is rich in minerals but a deficit in humus deficit in humus means humus is not present in this horizon that is why it is lighter in color than top soil because of the presence of humus a horizon is dark in color but as this humus is absent in the b horizon it is lighter in color okay next layer is the c horizon this layer is below the subsoil it is infertile zone that contains partially weathered rock with lots of cracks and crevices and this layer is the first stage in soil formation the last layer is the r horizon this layer is the lowermost layer in the soil profile and is also known as bed rock this contains hard rock which provides base to the other layers of the soil or we can say this is the parent rock from which the soil is formed now what is the composition of soil soil has four major components which are which are parent material water air and organic matter now coming to the parent material this consists of the rock particles of different sizes made of clay sand or gravel and this constitutes around 44 to 46% of the soil second is water the amount of water or moisture present is absorbed by the plant for photosynthesis water is very essential its presence in the soil is very much wanted why because plants absorb this water for photosynthesis and it is around 25% of the total soil present now third is air air is found in the space between the soil particles 
oxygen present in air is used by the roots of the plants and the animals living there for breathing. This also constitutes 25% of the total soil mass. Next is organic matter. Organic matter means humus. This means humus present in the soil. It adds to the fertility of soil by providing nutrients to it. It also adds to the texture of soil. Along with these four major components, soil organisms and minerals are also present. Soil organisms means microorganisms and insects which help in the decomposition process. Minerals like calcium, silica, iron, magnesium and potassium are present in the soil which are important for plant growth. Now this, with this we come to the end of this lecture 1. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. We will meet very soon with the lecture 2 that is the remaining part of chapter 8 soil of class 7 science.